Hey people, hey Arenators, and welcome back to my channel where we react to music but always do it honestly and today we're gonna check out BTS Go Go. To my surprise this lyric video has so many views and actually way more views than some of the other lyric videos for their popular songs. 73 million, that's a lot. That's that's even more than uh, the, mu the official music video for I Need You or Run. So I hope, I hope it means something and the song is actually really good. So yeah, let's jump into it. But before we do that, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. And if you wanna see my exclusive videos, check out my Patreon. That's that's an interesting beginning. I'm pretty sure I heard uh, some kind of Korean traditional instrument right there or actually a few of those. Yeah, that seems to be right. Um, it reminded me of one of their songs for their game BTS World and I don't remember which one exactly but uh, it sounded very similar to this one, the, the beginning of it. So yeah, I really like that they're appreciating their culture and incorporating some elements of their national heritage. Huh, okay, uh, th this is interesting. I don't know why, but J-Hope didn't really sound like himself in this part. W what do you guys think? Maybe maybe it's just the sound effects that they applied to his voice or uh, it's the way he was rapping in this part. But definitely if I, if I just heard this part without knowing the context and without knowing that it was him, I wouldn't think that it was actually J-Hope. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's the whole song. Yeah, it's not It's not only J-Hope because Jungkook didn't really sound like himself. Suga came in. I was like, is, the, is it actually him? And man, he was he was really hyping up his part. Did you hear that? He was, he was pretty much screaming. That was cool. That was cool. Okay, so yeah, I think it's just sound effects that they apply to all of their voices. That's why they sound like this. I wouldn't say it's worse this way. It's just different and I'm not used to hearing them like this. Is it, is it Jin? Okay, I mean, J-Hope sounded different, Suga, everyone else, but you could still hear some of their uh, signature characteristics in their voice, but Jin, it was, it was something else. I mean, I would never in a million years tell that it's actually him. Well, if if you just played this recording to me, no, no way. But I guess that's enough of me talking about the fact that they don't sound like themselves. And uh, overall, the song, you know, I can't really say much so far. Musically, uh, it's not really evoking any emotions in me f so far. Like, it's pretty good. It has some groove. Uh, it would go very nicely in the background while you're doing something, maybe just hanging out with your friends. But as as a piece of art so far it's pretty um it, it's pretty simple no crazy vocals no unexpected musical decisions so let's keep going and see what happens next <laughs> Okay, 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 this song is fun. It's definitely fun. Maybe it's not super complicated, but it's definitely very fun to listen to. This chorus, man, I didn't expect that those lyrics, yellow, yellow, yeah. Yeah, that, that was cool, and V with his, uh, with his unique voice, but you know, I think he made it, he made it sound a little 
funnier this time. Like, he didn't really care while he was recording this song. And I think the, the whole song in general sounds like it's, it's carefree. It's very nice and light and bubbly. So I definitely enjoy seeing this side of them as well. You know what? The impression that I'm getting from the song is the same one as uh, when I was watching their live performance of Ant Pan Man. They they were they were just basically running around the stage having fun. So here's the same thing, the same concept. And in this part, V, I'm pretty sure he was sounding funny like that on purpose. And I mean, even <laughs> if we look at the actual picture for the lyric video. It, it's not too serious. You see, V is just eating something right there. So yeah, th this is what I think. Guys, you know how I usually do it. With these kind of videos, I listen to the music first and then read the lyrics and the meaning. But with this one, I think I would I would get a better experience if I read the lyrics right away. So I, I know it's already been half of the song and I'm definitely gonna go back and check out the first part as well. But now from, from this point, I'm gonna start looking at the lyrics as well. <laughs> So, okay, basically the song is about spending money, huh? Spending money and having fun. You know what? I, I really like alpine skiing and it's it's a pretty expensive sport and you gotta buy equipment for it. And I think I'm gonna play the song the next time I go to a ski shop to grab some equipment for myself, you know, because I, because I go in there and just spend, spend, spend money. For now, I, I would say that's pretty much the only thing that I really like spending money on. I don't like wasting money, but when I buy ski equipment, I don't feel like I'm wasting them. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna use this word once again, but it's so fun. This song is so fun and it's so different from everything that I've heard from them. You know, usually I prefer more melodic, deeper, heavier type of music with a lot of different things happening at the same time with beautiful vocals, but for some reason, I, I'm a big fan of this one as well. It hits me in a different way, you know? I just feel happy, happy and uplifted when I'm listening to it. And definitely in the very beginning when I hadn't heard this chorus, I didn't feel like I was gonna like this song. But now, as you can see, my opinion of it changed dramatically. So I'm, I'm glad that it happened the way it happened. So yeah, let's keep going. I know this part. So wait, 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 wait. I, I'm so sure I know this part. Like I've heard it somewhere, maybe uh, maybe in a funny video or a bang ten bomb, but I, I've heard it before. Oh, oh yes, yes, in a funny video because uh, uh, they, they used a clip from their live performance of the song where, <laughs> where V was just having fun and making funny faces. You remember that one? That's where it's from. All right, all right. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to check out the live performance as well. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> Alrighty, alrighty, now, as I promised, I'm gonna go back and check out the first part of the song. I'm actually gonna listen to the whole thing once again and read read the lyrics, but I'm only gonna be inserting little bits of it because I can't play the whole song. Hey, 
I think this is the only song about spending money I've heard where it doesn't feel like the artist is trying to flex on you because they're not making a point that they have a lot of money. They're just spending it on themselves, on food, on, on fun, on partying. So it feels different and you can kind of relate to it way easier than to some kind of flex song. I'm sure if they were singing about driving Lamborghinis and stuff, you would be like, oh, okay, but I don't have that. <laughs> so, okay, overall, this is a song that definitely exceeds exceeded my expectations that I got after hearing the very beginning of it because to, honestly I thought it was going to be kind of boring but yeah it turned out way better it's so fun I really enjoyed it and hey if you enjoyed this video then you know what to do now you leave a like you subscribe and you click the bell I will see you all Aeronators in my next video as always take care keep listening to great music and keep going yellow yellow yeah and love